Galnet News Update, 2nd of February 3309. Last week, the Kumu crew took control of three Alliance starports in the California Nebula. Independent factions working on behalf of the Alliance have already restored two of these starports to the Turner Research Group. But the Kumu Council says it's nonetheless willing to pay those willing to fight the Thargoids in all systems in the Nebula. In fact, it sounds like Arkham Delane isn't entirely in touch with the facts, appearing entirely unaware that Mick Turner Base and Red March Laboratory are already back in Alliance hands. However, despite a close-fought battle, it appears that Ford Research Laboratory is, for now at least, still in Kumu Crew hands, and the Micklin Megaship is an unwelcome guest in the Alliance's California Sector HR-W D1-22 system. And it's at the Micklin carrier that the Kumo crew want Thargoid combat bonds turned in. They'll pay handsomely for such bonds, and in a demonstration of how in touch they are with current trends, they're offering a special paint job for the ASP Scout. For the top 75% of those who take part, they're also offering, rather cheekily, a paint job for the Alliance Chieftain for the top 50%, and a pink pirate paint job for the Crate Phantom for the top 25%. In other news, the new Azimuth Biotech Size 5 AX Weapon Stabiliser is available from rescue ships around the bubble, supplementing the Size 3 version that was released last week. The larger module allows up to six experimental AX weapons of all types to be configured in a loadout. If you want to upgrade a ship that already has a size 3 stabiliser, you must first reduce its AX weapons count to 4 before you can unequip the smaller stabiliser to allow the larger one to be fitted, so you can then add back the weapon you are forced to store. Azimuth CEO Torben Rademacher used the release notification to make a couple of digs at Aegis describing talk of reforming Aegis as misplaced nostalgia and explaining that the Azimuth Stabilizer is designed to correct inherent design flaws in the Aegis range of AX weaponry. This is despite Azimuth AX weaponry suffering exactly the same limitations as the Aegis models. He finished by suggesting that Azimuth has the best track record for defeating the Thargoids and, echoing Azimuth's previous CEO, Salvation, that only Azimuth can deliver victory over the aliens. <laughs>